Hello there, my name is Erin. I'm a friend of Kyle and I studied in England for high school and um, college in America, specifically UC San Diego. And now I'm sitting here um, having an interview with my friend Kyle. Hi, I'm Kyle from <laughs> and I run Expat Rights. And... So I have a couple of questions for you. First of all, a lot of people think you are weird and how do you look at it? Well, I'm, I'm definitely like a little bit weird and I think being weird is is part of what makes me the kind of person to yeah special the kind yeah. of person who would, who would launch something like expat right so um, maybe I could be a little little more normal. more normal <laughs> yeah. and still do it but uh, yeah but I, I'm happy yeah. with who I am and that I hope that uh, it doesn't scare too many people away yeah to be honest the very first existence of expat right really surprised me and I'm glad you were doing work here and my question would be what kind of mindset do you think is the best for a foreigner to have living in China? Yeah, I think living in China can be very challenging for many foreign people and especially new people. And I think you just have to kind of keep an open mind and and not bring too many of your own misconceptions from your old country or stereotypes and uh, try to listen to Chinese people. Yeah, um, so why did you start your social media in China? Yeah, well, I've been in China for 15 years, and after maybe 10 years, um, I started to feel like China was my home, and a little bit tired of being treated as a permanent outsider, considering that I've been in China. I've been in China for longer than young kids like you have even yeah. been alive. And um, I've been here for 16 years, and now I went to England. Yeah, see, so, so I've it's been almost <laughs> the same time. Almost the same. Yeah. And uh, also, after the birth of my daughter, I really wanted China to be kind of a more multicultural country mm -hmm. and society that could accept. Improve the diversity in this country and maybe make the immigration process easier. Yeah, well, sometimes I, I dream of immigrating here, but uh, then I'd be passing up those beautiful Canadian social security benefits, so I'm still not sure. <laughs> yeah. But I have already contributed to diversity because my daughter is a half Chinese and, and half Canadian. Having interracial marriage is definitely um, like a good thing, I could say, <laughs> in the modern world. Yeah. 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 Okay, why did you post so many ads in your WeChat articles? This is a this is a common criticism that I get on expat rights and global news is we have too many ads, and I think a lot of people have a misconception that I'm getting rich by with these advertisements and every ad they see is making me a ton of money. But that's not true. Like expat rights is barely paying for itself. And, you know, don't think too much. And also, we we have kind of listened to people and started like rotating ads and trying to not overwhelm people with too many ads in the same article. So, what are you usually embarrassed about? Uh, these days, I'm embarrassed that all these Chinese people know that I'm married, and they comment on all my videos that I'm married and try to like shame me, and I feel a little bit embarrassed about that. Yeah, because there are a lot of Chinese girls that want to be with you. I think uh, older women. Older women. <laughs> it's hard. See, it's hard. A very, a very handsome young Chinese guy <laughs> left a message for me, and he said, uh, "He said, don't be, don't be too naive, uh, old uncle. <laughs> um, yeah, see, it's don't, hard. don't think about these young girls. So, uh, yeah, I'm technically, I'm still married, but." Uh, yeah, hope the prospect can be improved. Um, yeah, please, if you know any older women, uh, introduce <laughs> them to me. Yeah. Um, what do you think that makes you different from other foreigners in China? Yeah, I think compared to other foreigners in China, I've put more effort into cross-cultural communication and, and integrating mm -hmm. and learning Chinese and trying to be more a part of Chinese society. Mm -hmm. As I, active as possible? Yeah, especially in, in the last couple of years, like I started going to English corners and it was very frustrating <laughs> for Why? a while. Um, Why? It's like getting asked all the same questions okay. like all the time. Okay, and, because people are ignorant of how foreigners live in China. Yeah, and, and they all have the same kind of questions and, and mm -hmm. ideas. After time, I, I got more used to it. And I think a lot of foreigners live in a foreigner bubble and mm -hmm. they kind of have preconceived notions of Chinese people and don't do enough communicating with Chinese people to break them. So I think that's the yeah. big difference. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely uh, relate to 
that feeling as well and when I communicate with some foreign people they seem to have a certain idea about Chinese and whatever I said it would be ignored so I definitely hear you and the cross-cultural communication is of course important and um, what would be your message for foreigners um, like what would you like them to know which they currently may not have known well like I was saying uh, try a I think that more foreign people should make an effort to reach out to Chinese mm -hmm. and the more Chinese that you talk to the more you kind of expand their horizons and the friendlier they'll be in the future and even just a little conversation like this mm -hmm. or when I, just a simple conversation at English mm -hmm. corner mm -hmm. enhance the connection and um, why, why do your horizons like be knowledgeable about each other Yes, and not only are you teaching Chinese people but you can also learn from Chinese people and I've definitely learned a lot uh, from Chinese people and from my time in China, uh, especially like how to be humble. <laughs> and, yeah, mutual learning is important. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I thank you so much for interviewing me and letting me clear up some of these uh, misconceptions and... and uh, yeah, it's great information. Thank you.